Hello everyone, welcome to BI Consulting Pro and in today's video I'm gonna show you how you can connect your Power BI Premium per user workspace to SQL Server Profiler. That means there are certain cases when you need to trace something from your PPU workspace or suppose you are doing the incremental refresh and you want to track whether this is working fine or not then in that case also you may need to use the SQL Profiler for your PPU workspace. So how you can do that? What are the sort of things that you should remember while using it? In this video, I'm gonna let you know everything. So stay tuned with me till the end of this video. If you are over here for the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe this channel and hit the bell icon for all the latest Power BI updates and videos. As you can see right now, I'm on my Power BI service account over here. I have different workspaces if you will see and there is one PPU demo workspace. I have published one report over here let me show you and here you can see sales and returns and sales and returns data set over there now the very first thing whenever you are trying to connect your microsoft sql profiler or ssms that is sql server management studio with your ppu workspace what you have to do you have to come under the settings or the settings you have to go to the premium tab and from premium tab you should have premium per user one like this so i'm not sure it's a bug initially it won't show you but suddenly it's gonna appear over here that's all right so you can see this workspace is premium per user the default storage format is large data storage format and then you have your workspace connection so you can copy this one and now you have to open your sql server profiler once you will open your sql server profiler you have to go to file and then you have to go for new trace here you will get this window or here you have to edit your connection so the very first from the first drop down you have to select the analysis services because your ppu workspace is basically a sql server analysis services tabular model if you have worked previously on SSCS in Microsoft MSBI tools, then you know what is this. That's all right. No need to worry. Just select this analysis services. And in the second row, you have to paste your connection string that we just copied from there. And then from the third one, authentication, do not select anything like Windows authentication or Azure Active Directory. Just select the Azure Active Directory universal with MFA. Once you are going to select this, then you have to provide the same account address that you are using for your Microsoft Power BI services. Or here I'm using audit at biconsultingpro.com. So I'm going to use the same. But sometimes when you will connect over here, you will get this kind of error. So how to resolve this kind of error? So what you are going to do, you have to come to the options and under options, you will see connect to database. Just select this instead of default, you have to browse the server and it's going to ask you whether you want to browse it or not. Just say yes. Once you are going to do that, it's going to ask you for the authentication so that it can retrieve all those databases or the data sets that you have into your analysis service account or your PPU workspace. So I'm going to authenticate myself over here quickly. So as you can see over here, I can see my data set is appearing over here. So I can just select if you have multiple data sets over there, you can select them too. Just select that and now go back to the login tab and connect. That's all you need to do. Although I believe Microsoft has already solved this problem, but in any of the cases, if you don't see that and you encounter that kind of error, then you can follow this method. Otherwise you can directly connect it. And over here, I can see all my events and everything, whichever I would like to use. I can use my SQL Server Profiler. I hope guys you liked today's video. And if you have any further question or concern, please don't forget to let us know. We are over here to help you. See you in the next video. And once again, guys, please don't forget to subscribe our channel and hit the bell icon for all the Power BI updates and videos.